could you uh, explore this uh, a bit more or maybe uh, more uh, mm. in, well, condensed mm. uh, uh, about how what does it mean to do patristics in nowadays in different contexts that we live in modern context mm. and how it is connected with other disciplines like mm. history mm. philosophy and so forth well let me begin by one basic principle about why we do patristics. And that is, of course, that Christian faith is a faith based in history. And that means that our Christian faith is learned. It is something which we learn, feel our way into. We discover as we grow as human beings. And if that is the case, then it's important to see how our fathers in the faith learned to believe as they did, how the words we use in the creeds and in the liturgy took shape, what were the human pressures, the intellectual pressures that gave them that shape. And patristics is, to me, a central part of that exercise in finding how we learned to believe what we believe. Mm -hmm. uh, how philosophy, history studies help patristics? I think that in understanding how Christians came to believe, grew to believe what they believe, we have to see what were the pressures upon them? People don't simply believe as if they were buying something in a supermarket. They don't walk in and choose something. They come to a belief because pressures move them in a certain direction. And those pressures are intellectual and spiritual. And so we think both about the life of prayer in the early church and about the intellectual life. They were the pressures of the community and its organization, its discipline, and they were the pressures of society altogether. So history, sociology, anthropology, mm -hmm. intellectual history, spirituality are all part of patristics. Your Grace, is patristics confessional? It doesn't have to be because people can produce good historical scholarship without sharing the faith that they study. But for a Christian believer, to do patristics is understanding yourself and your church, not simply understanding a foreign world. And so I believe that if the best scholarship is always a scholarship that is sympathetic, that is involved, the best kind of patristics will be finally confessional. And the last question, can patristics help uh, the quest of the church unity? I believe so, because if we look at how Christians came to believe what they believe, we shall see why it is that certain words, images, formulations of language came to be the common coin, the common structure of Christian identity. How people gradually came to see that to be a Christian you had to speak like this. And when we recreate those pressures that made people speak in this way, we begin to see what we have in common, where we can explore together, and where we can still find one Lord and one hope, at least, for sacramental unity among all our diversity. Thank you so much, Your Grace. That's very great.